Good morning everybody. Today we'll discuss about addition reaction in organic compounds. As like a thirsty man drinks whole of a glass of water, an unsaturated compound is like that. It adds up to whole of the attacking reagent. Thus, in an addition reaction, the attacking reagent gets completely added up to the substrate as is mentioned here x plus y giving xy so uh, we will study about the addition reaction to the unsaturated compound having functional groups c double bond c c triple bond c c double bond o c triple bond n etc okay addition reaction is divided into three types depending on the species which is added to the substrate at first if it is an electrophile represented as e plus which gets first added to the substrate then it is called an electrophilic addition reaction similarly if a nucleophile represented as a new minus and a free radical represented as x dot gets first added to the substrate then the reactions are called as nucleophilic addition reaction and free radical addition reaction respectively so uh, let us first discuss about electrophilic addition reaction in this type of reaction an electrophile which is produced from the attacking reagent gets added to the substrate first and thus a carbocation is formed. Sometimes a carbocation uh, first formed may undergo rearrangement to form a more stable carbocation. In the next step, the rest part of the attacking reagent, uh, that means uh, uh, the nucleophile, uh, the nucleophilic part of the reagent gets added. As an example, we have bromination of alkenes. Simple unconjugated alkenes are rich source of electrons and act as nucleophile, the pi bond of which can attack the electrophile. Bromination of alkenes gives dibromoalkene. Here is the mechanism of electrophilic addition reaction in the first step the pi bond or the homo highest occupied molecular orbital of the alkene overlaps or attacks one of the bromine atom of the molecule thus the other bromine atom leaves as a bromine uh, a bromide ion and a symmetrical three-membered bromonium ion is formed. In the next step, the lost bromide ion attacks from the backside like SN2 bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction to form the product. The next example of electrophilic addition reaction is halogenation of alkenes. The pi bond attacks the hydrogen of halogen acid. The electrophile H plus ion is attached to one of the carbon atom to form a stable carbocation. And the bromide ion leaves. In the next step, that bromide ion which left attacks the carbocation to form the product. Here is what we were discussing about the rearrangement of the first formed carbocation. Here it is a secondary carbocation in the first step which is, which is formed uh, now gets rearranged to give a more stable carbocation. You see here how 
a one two methyl sipped that means the methyl group is sipped between two nearby carbon atoms that's why one two right and a more stable carbocation is formed from a secondary to tertiary carbocations okay now the nucleophilic addition reaction this type of reaction shown by carbon hetero atom multiple bonds such as c double bond o c triple bond n etc okay compounds containing such functional groups c double bond o c triple bond n like this are polar due to high electronegativity of oxygen or nitrogen etc these compounds have a partial positive charge over the carbon atom of the functional group the nucleophile produced from the attacking reagent at first is added to the positive carbon forming a negative charge over the electronegative atom of the functional group then the electrophilic part of the attacking reagent gets added okay here is the mechanism of nucleophilic addition reaction how carbonyl carbon is first attacked by the cyanide nucleophile the double bond becomes single bond and the oxygen gets a negative charge in the next step h plus which is the electrophilic part of the attacking reagent gets added to give cyanohydrin the last one is the free radical addition reaction as you know free radicals are formed by the homolysis means homolytic cleavage of a bond and the free radical addition reactions proceeds in uh, in in chain reaction in chain like fashion that is uh, uh, first initiation then propagation and then the last step termination a free radical uh, thus formed adds to the uh, one of the multiple bonded atoms to form a stable free radical the rest part of the free radical sorry the rest of the free radical of the attacking reagent is added next ras effect or anti markan cups rule or addition of halogen acid in presence of uh, uh, a peroxide is a better example of it hydrogen bromide adds to propene in presence of benzoyl peroxide to give one bromo propane in the absence of peroxide the major product would have been 2 bromo propene propane 2 bromo propane okay the bond between two oxygen atom of the benzoyl peroxide is cleaved homolytically to form two free radicals next the bond between carbon of the phenyl group and the carbonyl group this bond is homolytically cleaved to give a, a, a phenyl free radical and carbon dioxide this phenyl free radical adds to hydrogen free radical formed from hydrogen bromide to give benzene and a bromine free radical of our interest is thus formed this bromine free radical is added to the carbon num uh, uh, carbon number 1 that means c1 of of propene c1 of propene to form a stable carbocation sorry 
is double secondary free radical which then adds to a hydrogen free radical of the hydrogen bromide to form the product okay thank you uh, thank you for watching uh, kindly subscribe to my channel thank you thank you